He's the fighting bride of Bolton, Lancashire, England, the reigning, defending, WBA super lightweight champion of the world, Amir Film study for Amir Khan versus Manny Pacquiao. I'm so excited for this fight. I can't wait to see this fight. It's going to be a hell of a fight. I want to break down both fighters, their strength and their weaknesses of both fighters. We all know Manny Pacquiao. He's a dynamic. He's a very offensive fighter. Amir Khan, dynamic speed, great offensive fighter. Both fighters have defensive flaws. We all know Amir Khan defensive flaws. We've seen it in the Canelo fight. We saw it in the Danny Garcia fight. So I want to break down this film study for you guys and let you guys know what both fighters need to do to come out victorious. Starting with Amir Khan. He needs to channel what Floyd Mayweather did against Manny Pacquiao. Not to necessarily say that Floyd Mayweather beat Manny Pacquiao. I scored the fight myself a draw. Um, but he needs to channel some of the things Floyd Mayweather did. I want to show you guys. Okay. He starts out with a jab. Every time Manny Pacquiao comes in, he ties him up. See, he has Manny Pacquiao tied up immediately. Manny Pacquiao likes to throw three, four punch combinations. Like I said, he's very explosive. Very dynamic offensive fighter. Manny Pacquiao hits him with a jab, ties him up. As you guys can see in the clip, Floyd Mayweather has Manny Pacquiao tied up basically a motherfucking hug he's not getting out of that hug <laughs> okay Manny Pacquiao comes in again Floyd Mayweather ties him up leads with a jab you notice how Floyd Mayweather he's keeping Manny Pacquiao at bay with the jab and he's tying he's clinching very effectively Manny Pacquiao comes in again he clinches Manny Pacquiao. Leads with the jab. Keeping him at bay with the jab. Now you notice how Manny Pacquiao lunges forward. See, he's off balance due to Floyd Mayweather's jab. He ties up Manny Pacquiao once again. You guys notice a pattern here? See, Amir Khan cannot allow Manny Pacquiao to get off three, four punch combinations. He can't allow Manny Pacquiao to go in the ring and do whatever he wants to do. He has to take away that huge left hand of Manny Pacquiao, as I'm going to show you guys right now. We don't want no sound in the video. Okay, Manny Pacquiao has one of the best, in my opinion, the best straight left right hands in the sport of boxing. His favorite punch, Amir Khan, has to take away that straight left hand from Manny Pacquiao or come in very huge, full 147, and be prepared to get hit with that huge straight left. Okay, we're watching Manny Pacquiao versus De La Hoya. Bang. Let's go back. He catches De La Hoya with a huge straight left. I told you guys, that's his favorite punch. Bang. Left hand. Bang. Left hand. Bang. Bang. Left hand again. Bang. Another left hand. You notice a pattern. Manny Pacquiao, he's consistently landing that left hand against Oscar De La Hoya. Bang. Thanks. Bang. Boom. Another left hand. Pattern over and over again. Landing that huge left hand on Oscar De La Hoya. Faint. Manny Pacquiao, he's going to show you a lot of feints. He's going to be in and out, fainting you, trying to land that huge left 
hand. Amir Khan, he has to take away Manny Pacquiao's huge left hand. Now, Amir Khan's weakness, defense. As you can see, Canelo faints to the body. We don't want no sound. Faint to the body. Bang. Hands are down. Now you notice in this clip, Amir Khan hands are low. Watch the faint. He faints him. Hands are not protecting his face. He has no protection whatsoever for his mother loving face. Hands are too low. He's getting hit flush. Faint to the body. No hands aren't. His hands aren't up. Easy knockout. Bang. And he's knocked out cold. Now he's trying to block a punch without protecting his face. He needs to have his hands up. Bang. Unprotected. Unprotected. No protection whatsoever for his face. He's trying to block a, a body shot and he leaves his face wide open. Knocked unconscious. Now let's show you guys another clip of Amir Khan weakness. Like I say, he has to keep those hands up in the Danny Garcia fight. No protection. No protection whatsoever. Look at his face. His face is wide open to be hit you gotta get your hands up Amir no protection whatsoever for your face Danny Garcia gonna close his eyes and land a huge left hook because Amir Khan doesn't have his hands up bang hands aren't protecting his face and he's knocked cold now Amir Khan needs to work the body in this fight. I want to show you guys this clip with Marquez. He was working the body very nicely against Manny Pacquiao. If you notice, he's going to faint Pacquiao to the body as well. Watch this beautiful faint Marquez does against Pacquiao. Hold up. Let's take away the sound. We don't want no sound in the video. Okay, he faints to the body. You notice how he faints to the body. He comes over the top with a huge right hand. Bang! Knocks Pacquiao down. Let's go back. Faint to the body. Bang! Knocks him down cold. Amir Khan needs to work the body in this fight. Marquez did some nice body work in this fight which set that up. Bang! You notice how Pacquiao, he's blocking the body. Bang! What I want to show you guys how Pacquiao is blocking the body, though. He's going to block the body. Let me go back so I can show you guys Pacquiao blocking the body. Okay. Right there. Damn, hold up. Let's go back once again. Right there. You see, he has, he has um, his left hand down. Blocking the body. He don't want to get hit in the body, so he's going to leave that top wide open to be nailed. He's blocking the body. Bang, right over the top. Right over the top. Perfect combination. So Amir Khan needs to work the body in this fight to be successful. He can't just work the head. He has to tire Pacquiao out. Pacquiao loves the bob and weave. He's going to faint a lot. He's going to use a lot of energy with his legs. Right now, I'm leaning probably 60-40 Pacquiao, but I'm pulling for Amir Khan to win the fight. Pacquiao has a better ring IQ than Amir Khan. Amir Khan has to fix his ring IQ, man. Like I said, you guys saw in the clips, he's getting hit flush. I mean, no protection whatsoever for his face, man. You can't be taking those type of punches to the face. Khan has to keep his hands up. He has to improve on that boxing IQ. And you got a trainer like Virgil Hunter, you got Andre Ward in your stable, bruh. Your boxing IQ has to improve. So Amir Khan can win this fight. Like I said, he needs to tie Manny Pacquiao up. He needs to control Pacquiao with range, with the jab. He can win this fight. It's up to Amir Khan, man. He got to, 
He got the height advantage. He got the weight advantage. He got to go out and do it. Do he want it? If Amir Khan wants it, he can win it. You guys let me know what y'all think. Drop me a comment. Hit that like button and subscribe. I'm out.